Welcome to The Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And today I'm excited to explore a fantastic book, Mystic Vibrasonics, the technique and how to use it for a wondrous new life by David Troncoso. One of my favorite things are the Parker Publishing books. There's a set of them. You might find them in the library if you are somebody that loves books. They had a bunch of books in the 60s and 70s, and they were all very similar. They tried to recreate a name for what we're talking about. They would say psychosomatics or vibrosonics, or they would try to create some seductive name that was a little bit different, but they all talked about the same thing, and they all had these amazing techniques. Some of these have the most profound metaphysical teachings, but they were created, they kind of looked comic bookish a little bit. If you ever read like the back of the National Enquirer back in the day, it had similar copywriting. And I love some of the stuff that I found when I was reading this book. I like to look for the rare ones. I want to try to get a complete collection of these Parker Publishing. If you checked out my episode, Miracle Metaphysics Power by Robert Stone, that is one of the Parker Publishing books. And so is like Anthony Norvell and Joseph Murphy was one of them. And I just wonder, I've tried to research what happened to Parker Publishing. And a lot of these books are just out there and they're not in print. And some of them are really, really good. And this was written by David Troncoso, who only, as far as I can tell, wrote one book. And that was this book on mystic vibrasonics. And I tried to do some research on him and the only thing that we have is on the back it says he holds a degree in psychology from LA State University and the degree of Doctor of Divinity from the College of Metaphysics, Indiana. He has devoted over 25 years of his life to the study of psychic phenomenon and has held thousands upon thousands of psychic consultations which helped him to develop the mystic vibrasonic technique. So I did some more research and I found a book that was discussing David Troncoso, a book called Straight from the Witch's Mouth. And it had different psychic consultants that were being interviewed in Hollywood. And this one in particular was Dr. David Troncoso, ESP reader, love counselor, psychoanalyst from Hollywood. And this is the only th- reference I could find. He says he's a spiritual psychoanalyst and a reader of the occult as well as marriage and love counselor. And the occult is popular because people are tired of the same old drags. Sex is necessary to the occult, but like narcotics, sex can be taken to extremes. Witchcraft in general is an important catharsis relieving our society's pressures. The hands-off attitude the courts these days is beautiful all, as it leaves the field wide open and lush. The more commercialization of the occult, the better. I prefer the clean-cut look of witches much more than the filthy hag look. I make no distinction about white and black witches, essentially white and black magic. What's the difference? The power is neutral, colorless, and works under spiritual laws, yet does not understand much less control. Have you ever heard of black or white electricity? As time goes by, Witchcraft will achieve a greater scientific acceptance and be used for healing in areas like marriage counseling. I don't really sense witchcraft when I'm reading this book. The techniques are law of attraction techniques, reality transurfing type of techniques, integrating the idea and study of vibration. And so I was fascinated by the book because it is detailed and has some very interesting writing and I thought I could share it on the podcast in the jacket it says right now lying dormant within your brain is a psychic instrument so powerful and so easy to use that you can acquire untold riches and perfect health almost effortlessly a lot of these books would make claims like this but some of them have really amazing techniques that work power of vibration is a very important thing. It kind of differentiates different speakers. If you notice in metaphysics, Abraham talks about vibration, but then there's some that don't. 
And so there seems to be a division in the field of the law of attraction and metaphysics in this concept of vibration. The jacket goes on to say, Mystic vibrasonics can transform your life into one of success in everything you do. And since it is based on completely natural forces, it is certain to work for you. Psychic law never fails, said Troncoso. Troncoso claims that consciously or unconsciously, every really successful person has discovered the secrets of vibrasonics. He promises that you too can become a member of this elite group. Everything you've ever wanted from life can, can now be yours, be it health, money, or power. David Troncoso promises that the miracle of mystic vibrasonics will put it within your grasp. Just what are mystic vibrasonics? According to the author, extensive research has revealed that all mental images are reproduced in the universe, both good and the evil. He has discovered how the good can be attracted and the evil banished by the use of simple chants, chants which swiftly put your vibrations in tune with those of the boundless universe. Hundreds of ordinary people have been helped by the amazing secret of mystic vibrasonics. Now you too, says David Troncoso, Mr. Edwin, a male nurse who couldn't afford anything outside the bare necessities of life, invoked the money jingle chant and soon became the owner of a highly successful business. Evelyn, a woman who was plagued by suffocating asthma, used the whistler's vibrating chant and her asthma soon vanished into thin air. Frankie, a poor elderly woman, used vibrasonic equalizer technique and miraculously discovered $63,000 that had been buried for years in a glass jar. Now you too can join these and hundreds of ordinary people whose entire lives were changed by the mystic secrets of vibrasonics. What's more, it will also show you how to use mystic vibrasonics to develop your ESP abilities obtain perfect health, locate and return loved ones, smash through all obstacles, locate hidden treasures and lost objects. The explosive pages are your passport to a world of infinite fulfillment and prosperity. Use it wisely and your life will never be the same. How to use mystic vibrasonics for a wondrous new life. Awaken. Use your God-given magical powers to vibrate yourself in to a new lifetime of happy, carefree, wealth, health, and power. Design your own unique happy, free style of life for supreme happiness. This book of mystic vibrasonic techniques will show you step by step how to use your vibrasonic tuner to transform your life into a brighter tomorrow now. When confronted with a crossroad in life that offers an opportunity to achieve your fondest desire and transform your life, you may well ask, what is this technique? How does it work? And why will it work for me? And rightly so, for curiosity is one of the natural attributes of the human mind. It is this inherent curiosity that has guided man out of the wilderness and into so many important discoveries that have changed his life and made this earth a much better place to live and work in. Well, let me set your mind at ease. It will work for you. Mystic Vibrasonics. Just what is Mystic Vibrasonics? And why is it the key to a wondrous new life? 
Mystic, according to the Webster's New American Dictionary, refers to a person who seeks truth through contemplation of things beyond the range of sense perception and evidential reasoning. And isn't this what we all instinctively try to do in searching for the answers to life? We may work hard at our profession, trade, or job, but in the back of our minds we may wander in search of the answers to the mysteries of life. This we do instinctively, therefore mysticism is a natural quality to humankind, and so it is with the things of the superior realms. Human minds are not capable of realizing the absolutes that control the universe, but in trying to discover and understand, they accidentally stumble across truths and principles which we learn to use better our lot. This is so even though we may never understand the basic absolute reason or its cause. We are mystics at heart. Now we don't have to rack our brains trying to figure out why. Because with the vibrosonic techniques, we learn how simple it is to contact superior intelligences in outer space that can enrich our lives and give us power. Vibrosomics is a word that does not exist in the dictionary. Why, you might ask? Well, because until I discovered it, it never existed. Its fundamental core is derived from the word vibration which according to the Webster New American Dictionary means oscillation, fluctuation to move back and forth with even timing. The suffix sonics refers to sound, combining form. Thus, by for performing some syntactic surgery, I grafted vibra to sonics to create the word vibrasonics. I felt at the time that it would be a successful operation, for everything in nature appears to seethe with melodious, harmonious vibration of the universe's heartbeat. God's harmonious vibration. Now I am sure that it was a total success. As you read on, you will soon discover how easy it is to activate your vibrasonic tuner, and thus be able to tune into the universal vibration that encompasses everything forever. More than that, you will be able to listen to melodious, harmonious vibration never before heard on this earthly plane, contacting the legions of invisible intelligences which will come to your aid, will become a second nature, and the benefits will pour into your life like a cornucopia at harvest time. This will enable you to activate and awaken the tremendous power that lies dormant within your vibrasonic, which God in his almighty wisdom has so carefully embedded somewhere within the inner spectrum protection of your brain. Vibrasonic tuner vibration is psychic power, energy that emanates from your vibrasonic tuner as it vibrates in reaction to the subtle flickerings of thought how the giant power of vibrasonic techniques works. Every single flickering of your vibrasonic tuner inside the brain is a result of every slight thought released, either in the form of words or mental images. Yes, each and every one is reproduced in the atmosphere and around the brain area, forming an invisible intelligence cluster sometimes called an aura, an invisible emanation or exaltation. Auras tend to gravitate around brain areas, and as they continue to do so, a magnetic invisible force field develops as similar thoughts continue to be reinforced by the never-ending flickering of the vibrasonic tuner. This is why it is so important to condition yourself to think properly and to avoid the wrong kind of thinking. Your vibrasonic tuner functions similarly to a computer. It doesn't know right from wrong. It will reproduce exactly what your thought pattern dictate. If they are predominantly negative, the surrounding gravitational field force from the boundless atmosphere and thus strengthens the negative potential which will adversely affect your decisions and actions. 
Negativism always results in failure. However, by the same token, if your thought patterns are predominantly positive, the gravitational attracting force will instead draw all the positive good in the universe to help you succeed and be happy. Psychic laws never fail. Psychic energy is the propelling force that ejects the invisible molecular electron clusters spinning out of the vibrosonic tuner inside your brain at tremendous speeds into the atmosphere surrounding your brain cells and as the thinking process continues to follow the same trend either positive or negative more invisible intelligence clusters accumulate and by the process of accretion begin to form an invisible apperceptive mass this is the compass that guides us in life in all our experiences successes or failures how true it is when we hear the truisms you can't run away from yourself you have to live with yourself or you've got to be honest with yourself so let us start with a clean slate by being honest with ourselves we all want to be successful happy prosperous powerful healthy and loved so let's face the moment of truth read on vibrasonic techniques will show you the way to turn the master key to open the treasure chest we all honestly desire vibrasonic techniques will show you how to change and control the vibration of your vibrasonic tuner to harmonize with the higher vibrations in space the following is but a sampling of the wonders achieved by others miracles that are right at your fingertips rid yourself of all loneliness anxiety depression and fear energize and reinforce your vibrasonic tuner a god-given built-in circuitry to enable you to tune in to the infinite invisible perceptual motion of the all-encompassing ocean of superior intelligence vibration clusters that permeate the entire universe catch them put them to work for you synchronize your vibrasonic tuner to the correct vibration frequencies of any of the floating superior intelligences that seek expression through mortal minds communicate with in the inner sanctum of your own private vibrasonic tuner with the invisible intelligence apperceptive masses of departed loved ones lost persons and luminaries such as jf kennedy napoleon bonaparte shakespeare edison and alexander the great the outer fringe of space surrounding our brains is full of such great intelligences ready able and willing to communicate their secrets and superior knowledge to us they are out in space our vibrasonic tuner is the receiver we must be in tune vibrasonic techniques will show you how regardless of race creed sex educational background or experience further develop your esp abilities obtain and maintain perfect health locate and return loved ones embellish your personality and self-confidence obtain dominion over all obstacles and enemies feel and act like a giant among all locate hidden treasure and lost objects and travel freely and inexpensively through the electronic structure of matter into interplanetary projection beyond time and space the chosen few they chose themselves wherever you may pick a sample cross-section of humanity you will always find a small percentage of people who always stand out in the crowd they are happy breezing through their affairs always the center of an admiring crowd having all the money they want 
Their luck is always incredibly good and everything comes easy for them. They are the ones who have consciously or unconsciously discovered the vibersonic secret and work it for all it's worth. You too can be a member of this elite group. Many wonder what secret they possess that makes their lives so easy and beautiful. After many years of research, it dawned on me that it all had to come from within the brain. Yes, I discovered the secret of the vibersonic tuner. It is all revealed within the pages of this book. And as you master the techniques, you too will enjoy all the fruits of good luck in life, health, wealth, power, dominion, and love. You'll read about fabulous changes in the lives of ordinary people. Jelly Roll Bob agitated his vibersonic tuner into action by using the double your money chant and quickly won $1,500 at the Las Vegas Strip. Nancy released the powerful forces lurking within her vibersonic tuner by applying the powerful mirror technique and her man soon married her. Jake dared to try the protective wall of fire chant technique and quickly dispelled all the evil that was perturbing his family. Your curiosity is already subconsciously awakening the giant power of your vibersonic tuner. Make no mistake about it, for as you continue to read this message, your vibersonic tuner is automatically reacting to the intelligence clusters being formed by these words and thoughts as they spin through your thinking vibersonic tuner and off into infinite space as thought pattern vibrations on and on they journey at speeds faster than light time is forever and they journey at speeds faster than light and space is insignificant to them as they reach infinity instantaneously to boomerang within your vibersonic tuner, accompanied by myriads of similar vibrating thought patterns, which I name scintillas to reinforce and further your aims and goals. I did it. Anybody who wants to can do it. So can you. Now, after many years of common, ordinary factory work and labor, I finally broke the invisible code of life, and with it, the barrier that had always separated me from the storehouse of wealth and health and happiness, which are as abundant as the very air we breathe. Ever since then, life has been wonderful and beautiful to me. I'm exactly what I have always wanted to be. I have exactly what I have always yearned for. Once you have mastered the mystic vibersonic techniques, you can design your own unique master plan for a happy lifestyle with all the abundance your mind can conceive. You will become the absolute master and architect of your destiny and no one can stop you. I own over a million dollars worth of real estate property. My wife and sons drive new automobiles of their choice and my bank accounts have always contained very respectable sums. My purpose is to prove to you that mystic vibersonics does work, for it certainly has been good to me. It can also work for you. I guarantee you that upon completion of this, you will never be the same. The difference will be amazing as you graduate into a new and greater stature in life. You will create the new perfected image of you. Now journey with me into that mysterious world of sub-microscopic scintillas constantly emanating from your vibersonic tuner. It is not leagues or light years away in space, but as close as listening to this book and opening your consciousness to this miraculous dimension of incredible events. Discovering and awakening your powerful vibersonic tuner. Ever since the beginning of time, man has been haunted by that vague recurring thought that whispers to him that he is a god and therefore capable of accomplishing whatever his heart desires. You are about to discover this and prove it 
to yourself as you continue to delve into the mysterious realm of psychic phenomena. We are all predisposed to play the role of God in our relations with our fellow men. Some people will feel this tremendous, powerful realization as they swell up their chests, pick up a sword, and use this great God-given power to slay, maim, hurt, and destroy their brothers. On the other hand, the saviors of humanity, enlightened by the simple reality of God, use this awesome power to pick up the scalpel, the pen, and the tools of science and technology to improve their brother's lot and make this a better place to live. This use of the powerful vibrosonic tuner enlightens the world with supreme happiness. The power is the same in both cases and the invisible psychic laws governing in both instances are the same. The difference lies in how the power is used. What you receive is up to you, for as a man soweth, so shall he reap. I am about to unveil this power through mystic vibrosonic techniques, so get ready, for we will soon be on our way. Children throughout the world innocently play in the sand, in the rice paddles, on the farms, under fire, during war times, in the teeming metropolis, or wallowing in the dirty tenement slums. Yet very few children, if any, are really unhappy. Happily and luckily, children ignore the reality of their environments during their formative years while their flexible minds create the wonderful world of fantasy in which they live. While playing cops and robbers, they frequently kill each other in the magic of their imaginations as bad guys and then immediately spring from the ground to amicably change roles with the good guys. They fly through the air with the greatest of ease as Superman, the avenger of human wrongs. They soar through space from mountain to skyscraper, easily defying the laws of physics to experience those wonderful feelings of power and freedom via the magic of their imaginations. Others picture themselves as heroes in shining armor forever rescuing ladies in distress or helping old widows pay their mortgages right under the villain's greedy eyes. The power in their imagination soars to such infinite heights that they even think they can stop roaring trains with their mere presence and command in front of the oncoming tonnage. Others feel potent enough to snatch airplanes from out of the air like King Kong did well, swaying on the top of the Empire State Building. Such is the miraculous God-given power inherent in their pure, wholesome minds. God is pure and good, and that is the way He created man. Some call children's play fantasy, but is it really that fantastic? Or is it the periphery of that twilight state of consciousness called heaven? For it is said that in my Father's house, there are many mansions, and in heaven there is no pain, worry, malice, or want. Heaven is abundant in all that we on earth desire. Children appear to be mentally closer to heaven, for they live in the magical consciousness of pure, unadulterated God-thought, the place where all begins and all returns. That is why they are so happy in life. The Bible reveals to us this priceless gem of wisdom. Ye must be born again. Ye must be like a child before you can enter the kingdom of God. Which simply means that you must emerge from the cocoon of negative thinking, usually accumulated throughout a life of negatively reacting to problems and setbacks into the light of a new, conscious state of thinking positively in relation to everything. Positive thinking is your ticket to the magical kingdom of heavenly consciousness, which is the kingdom of God. It is here at hand to help you enjoy a life of health, wealth, power, and dominion, all encompassed by supreme happiness.
George flashed the key thought technique and awakened his vibrasonic tuner to gain a clear, more positive perspective towards life. Georgie was a 35-year-old soda jerk at the local drugstore. He worked long, hard hours for a modest salary and all the ice cream he could eat. He was confused and disillusioned with his way of life, and deep down inside, he knew he was entitled to a better life. In his desperation and frustration, he would sometimes indulge in eating binges, trying to drown his sorrows with ice cream sodas and malts until his weight started to zoom. This created other problems. People started to make fun of him because of his portly appearance. What was poor Georgie to do? The answer soon came his way. Someone left a copy of the key thought technique on the soda fountain counter. Georgie picked it up and started practicing it right away. Several weeks went by and Georgie began to receive compliments on his personality change. His whole perspective towards life changed for the better. His thinking became imbued with positiveness, which showed in everything he did. Soon the girl of his dreams met him behind the soda fountain. It was love at first sight, and they decided to get married. Since they had no money in the bank before the year was over, Georgie was proud owner of that neighborhood drugstore. It can also happen to you. Turn on the light and the darkness disappears. The key thought technique and how to use it to turn you on. 1. Find a quiet place where you can contemplate the purpose of your existence. Think about this for a good while. 2. Lie flat on your back, on the floor, sofa, or bed. Close your eyes and let your body and mind relax. This is most important. Contemplate the unity of the universe, the oneness of God. Concentrate on the following. Imagine a light bulb within your mind. Imagine you light it up with the mere command of your thought. Say seven times within your mind, Aim. I am. Aim. I am. Om. 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 Take three long, deep breaths. Open your eyes and go about your day business. Expect sudden results. Be confident and positive. Your God-given vibrasonic tuner is the secret key to the elixir of life and will be revealed to you in the final chapter of this book. Negative and positive thinking comprise both aspects of the vibrasonic tuner's function. The vibrasonic tuner is always thinking something. If we learn how to orient, direct, and control its function, we will have harnessed the greatest power at our disposal. Here is how to accomplish this. Negative thinking always creates negative thought patterns, which consist of disorganized clusters of intelligence. I call quantums. These quantums become reinforced by continued thinking along the same thought channels, whether they are positive or negative. Negative thinking produces negative quantums, which accrete around the brain area and attract similarly charged quantums from outer space. When negativism overpowers the positive quantums, all decisions are influenced to fail. Negativism forms the dark and gloomy aspect of the vibrasonic tuner and such thought patterns in the form of quantums are always destructive because they are imbued with fear vibrations which produce indecision in all important affairs. The results, of course, are always negative, always failures. On the other hand, positive thought patterns form positively charged quantums which tend to form well-knitted, organized, harmonious patterns. They begin to form magnetic lines of force which attract other positive intelligence clusters from the space within and around us. Since order rules the universe, positive quantums are constructive by nature. 
continued reinforcement of their production draws from the universal storehouse all the wealth available to mankind. Positive thought patterns stimulate and tend to awaken your vibrasonic tuner to vibrate on the sunny side of life. Using this technique is like tickling the toe of the powerful giant that exists dormant within your vibrasonic tuner, transforming it into the invincible powerhouse of action that it is. Success begets success. Happiness is the manifestation of the supreme order in harmony with the perfect universal cosmic vibration we call God. Thoughts are invisible clusters of vibrating molecules. Molecules are minute particles of primordial essence, quantums that pervade all space and matter. Molecules form the basic blocks from which all matter emerges into manifestation. Energy, in the form of thoughts emanating from the vibrasonic tuner, center weaves molecules into the reality we call matter. As the winds caress the leaves and bend the willow trees and waves of the ocean forever form furrows on the sandy beaches, so the fine, subtle vibration thoughts emanating from the vibrasonic tuner, center, hidden somewhere within the complexity of man's brain, fan and form the invisible fabric mold from which all matter emerges. How Eric used the laser consciousness awakening technique to discover his many talents. Ever since he could remember, Eric had been considered a slow learner. Throughout his school career, he always felt inferior to the other students. His grades weren't too bad, but he always started everything with that idea of inferiority which had been so deeply engraved in his brain while he was living with his alcoholic parents. Confession revealed that he didn't believe in his inferiority and that deep down within his consciousness, he felt he was very smart, but somehow never got the breaks to prove himself. According to one of his statements, everybody else is always too fast. He couldn't keep up with the fast moving competition. Eric was a miserable young man, indeed, but not for long. After exercising the laser consciousness awakening technique, he soon discovered his real self. What happened to him can happen to you. At the end of the semester, who do you think was at the head of the class? It was Eric. His popularity had grown to such a point that he was unanimously elected class president. Eric at last had discovered the real Eric and he was convinced that his many talents were beginning to bear fruit. The Laser Consciousness Awakening Technique to find your new you. I suggest you perform this technique as the laser act before falling asleep. Lights out, tucked in bed, radios and all noise off. Every night until you meet and discover the new you. One. Count up to 100. 2. When you reach 100, fix clearly in your mind an image of a square block of human flesh, approximately your size and height. Keep concentrating on it for approximately 3 minutes. Don't time yourself, merely approximate the time. See a pair of brand new arms slowly emerge out of this block of human flesh. Next, see both legs protrude and then the head. Continue to visualize your body rising from the bed and slowly blending into the new one. After you feel this has been accomplished, go to sleep in the serene confidence that during the night it will take place. All right, I promise I'll make a sleep meditation using this technique in the future. Consciousness starts when the vibrasonic tuner becomes slightly aware of itself as a unique entity in relation to the immediate environment and the world at large. This spark of awareness is usually catalytically set off by thought vibrations emanating from the vibrasonic tuner and coalescing into thought patterns, quantum clusters, as the thinking habits become channeled. The clusters of quantum become more dense and they gravitate around the brain area. This well-established and personalized aura I have called the invisible, a perceptive mass. 
which eventually sets up its own unique rate of vibration, vibration frequency. This eventually becomes the person's style of life. It is positive. Success will surely follow. On the other hand, if it is negative, failure will result. But it doesn't have to be negative once you learn how to activate and control your vibrasonic tuner by using the powerful vibrasonic techniques of success. And success can be yours forever once its laws are put into motion. The invisible aperceptive mass becomes our ego identity in life. Have you ever heard, you can't escape from yourself, or you've got to live with yourself, or you've got to be honest with yourself? Of course you have. Now think a little about these statements. Aren't they true? We are what we are, and we can't escape from ourselves. But we can change what we appear to be, for our identity develops from infancy to death. What happens when mortals die? Many people believe that there is some form of continuing life after death. They believe that we go on living in some form through a succession of different phases in space. This lamentable presumption faces us some 2,000 years after the death of Christ, despite the great advances already made by science in this last century. Man has gone to the moon, created computers that solve the most complex problems in seconds, made dramatic breakthroughs in medicine, made technological achievements, and accumulated vast knowledge ever since the beginning of recorded time. Yet he still gropes in the darkness in search of his identity and his purpose in life. Will man ever really know? Absolute truths are not clearly defined or written in books, on stones or unsealed tombs. The answer to questions about the purpose of life are far, far beyond the thinking capacity of man, nor can they be found with a formula or computer. These are answers which only those intelligences that have passed the great river of endless time know and which they can relate to us through the sensitive synchronization of our vibrasonic tuner to receive their pure quantums of wisdom from outer space. What I have done, you too can do. As you continue to work the technique and knowledge which await you in the pages ahead. The physical body changes from ashes to ashes. It eventually returns to its point of inception. Nothing is really ever destroyed. Matter merely changes form in the continuum of time and space. The quantity of matter and energy is constant in the universe. You cannot add to it nor subtract from it. The metamorphosis that takes place is merely an illusion. In this process, the invisible vibrating molecules sustaining the matter form break away from the magnetic force field and diffuse into space. They can accomplish this act because of their tremendous velocities, which scientists conjecture are faster than light. Scientists have not been able to measure the velocity of the molecules. One of our brilliant space scientists, Dr. Werner von Braun, who at the age of 16 was already building V-2 rockets in Germany, made the following eyebrow-raising statement. Matter cannot be created nor destroyed. Another one of our brightest scientists, Dr. Albert Einstein, betrayed this statement with his theory of relativity, which in essence states that everything in the universe is moving relative to everything else in time and space. Change the time and space and the mass is transformed from one state of being into another. What happens when the mortal body disintegrates upon death? Obviously, we cannot deny that it returns to ashes since we can see that it does. But what about the clusters of intelligence molecules, the invisible aperceptive mass that is vibrated for a lifetime around the vibrasonic tuner within the brain? Is the invisible aperceptive mass destroyed upon the release of the molecular structure of the body mass, or does it disappear into the vast nothingness of space to be lost forever? 
It is believed that the intelligence cohesiveness of the invisible aperceptive mass remains in perpetual movement or incarnates into a new physical body. The strong magnetic lines of force firmly reinforced throughout the years of mortal life of the human brain continue to hold the invisible aperceptive mass in orbit. Once the invisible aperceptive mass is released from the deceased brain, it travels freely through space knowing no limitations. Since there is no longer a screen, the human brain for flashback projections of memories, the released invisible aperceptive mass has to rely on projection through other mortal brains still vibrating on earth to express itself. In this manner, spiritual messages are sent by these advanced intelligence clusters floating through space. Soon you will be shown how to communicate with them. How Abraham activated the vibrosonic blast-off technique to project his id into space and communicated with his deceased rich uncle. Abraham was very unhappy about his rich uncle's death. The manner of the death really disturbed him. One quiet Sunday night, Abraham's uncle Charlie sat down to watch television. It all happened so quickly and with such finality. Poor Uncle Charlie passed away while the good guys beat the bad guys on the Sunday night western. The family wept, and Abraham sat in quiet contemplation. Then he spoke and tried to ease the pain by rationalizing that Perhaps Uncle Charlie was better off since he was almost 80 when the cardiac arrest took place. Yet deep down, he wished that he had at least been on better terms with him. He knew that he had been very mean and indifferent to his uncle, and he wondered if he was included in the will. He had wanted to talk to his uncle and make amends with him, but of course, like everything else in life, we always feel sorry after it is too late. He wished that he could at least spiritually communicate with his uncle. Several weeks after a friend introduced him to the vibrasonic blast-off technique, Abraham's wish had come true, and this is how he did it. On the particular night of successful communication, Abraham had been very diligently exercising the technique, when suddenly sleep overpowered him. Drowsy but conscious of what was happening around him, he very clearly saw a round vapor-like mass start to pull away from the center region of his forehead. The mass stopped and remained suspended in space approximately 10 feet above him. Now he could see very thin, gray, thread-like connections between the mass, which was his invisible aperceptive mass, and his forehead. Entranced by the unusual sensations his brain was undergoing, he remained very peaceful and relaxed. The thought of his Uncle Charlie projected itself into his mind, and Abraham couldn't stop thinking about him. Then he observed another nebulous mass appear out of space and come close to him. Now, he was sure that it was Uncle Charlie's. A spiritual peace treaty was consummated, and Abraham's quickly changed for the better. Several days later, Abraham found several thousand dollars worth of negotiable bonds that had been missing from his personal effects. Abraham has been a happy man ever since. Good can happen to you too. The clusters of intelligence travel through space at tremendous speeds which scientists claim are greater than that of light. They travel so fast that the travel is virtually instantaneous and they permeate all matter in space. They are omnipresent. All the knowledge and wisdom in the universe is omnipresent waiting for us to claim it and utilize it for better or for worse. Let us be constructive always, but before we can have access to it, we must synchronize and tune in our vibrasonic tuner to the vibration frequency of the particular knowledge or spiritual entity we wish to obtain knowledge from. All matter in space is cluttered with myriads of invisible aperceptive masses seeking sensitivity in vibrasonic tuners so that they may express and manifest their superior knowledge through them. These disembodied intelligences appear to be lonely and constantly striving towards reincarnation in a newborn human. Once rapport is achieved, 
through synchronization with the invisible aperceptive masses, the vibersonic tuner becomes conditioned to receive the constant flow of invisible intelligence clusters flowing from the invisible aperceptive masses. This creates the hotline between mortal intelligence and infinite superior intelligence in space. When this line is open, you will have gained a thousand years in advantage, while other minds ignorant of these superior power contacts will have fallen by the wayside. It will be easy for you to win in everything. Reincarnation The invisible aperceptive mass consisting of the thought clusters accumulated during the entire lifetime of the mortal mind is released from the gravitational field of the brain area immediately upon death. It escapes quickly into space and floats for some time at a respectable distance, but close to the dead brain, in cases where the dead are brought back to life. This has been possible because the immediately released invisible aperceptive mass has been able to re-enter the dying brain seconds before the magnetic cord connecting it is severed. But once it is severed, the result is irreversible. Death is very definite and permanent. Once released into space, the billions of invisible aperceptive masses roam at will. Their common urge is to reincarnate and return to mortal life. Although reincarnation is possible, it becomes very improbable that it will occur soon. For you see, it would have to take place according to the laws of probability, and there are billions of invisible aperceptive masses out in space trying to return at the same time. When reincarnation does take place, it does so because a particular invisible aperceptive mass happened by chance to be in the precise point in time and space when conception occurred. The odds against the happening are astronomical, and even when this takes place, there still is the nine-month gestation period within the mother's womb that has to be taken into consideration. Anything can happen there, but if all continues well, an invisible, a perceptive mass returns to mortal life within the brand new brain of the baby. Somewhere within the intelligence clusters exists the minute thinking seed of the vibersonic tuner. Now, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but we will continue. Vibersonic tuners are unique. Vibersonic tuners are as unique as an individual's fingerprints. There are approximately two and a half billion people crawling over the surface of this earth, more like eight billion now, and no two have identical fingerprints. Fingerprints are only individualized line grooves that look the same in every human hand. You can imagine how much more unique and complex each individual vibersonic tuner must be. No two minds think alike, not even twins have identical vibersonic tuners. Each brain's vibersonic tuner vibrates within its unique vibration frequency rate. No two are alike. The particular rate is conditioned and determined by the individual thinking pattern. Winds, rains, and tides may change the face of the world, but eternal truths will stay the same. That is the beauty of it all. In this maze of psychic laws that govern the universe, everything mortal is relative and changing within the spectrum of time and space. You can always change your thinking pattern, improving it by using mystic vibersonic techniques. Now is the time to start creating the new you. In so doing, ye will be born again. Man must be so transformed before he can enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom is here and now. I bid you enter. How Preston used the vibersonic here now technique to win a brand new automobile. Preston was a very good conscientious worker. He never missed a day throughout his long career at the rubber plant, where he had been employed for the past five years. Every morning at the clock struck 5 a.m., you could see him walking very briskly to work. It was only three miles away, and he made it back and forth six days a week. Preston didn't own an automobile. He wanted one, but somehow his paycheck just didn't stretch far enough. He soon made a great discovery, the here now technique. The following week, he won a brand new car in a raffle. Gilbert reclaims his love and boosts his salary. Gilbert never did believe too strongly in the future. 
He always wanted everything now. With his crude manner, however, he didn't get very many of his wishes immediately. Now, at the age of 24, he appeared to be a very nervous, fast-aging young man. He was so unreasonable that his girlfriend left him. Then he lost his job. Gilbert was now all alone. What was he to do? After he exercised the here now technique, his girlfriend came back the very next day and all came from a former employer got him his position back with a substantial increase in salary. Gilbert has been successful and happy ever since. The here now vibrosonic technique to get what you want now. I suggest that you perform this technique every chance that you get. Practice makes perfect. 1. Write your desire on a small piece of paper. 2. Carry this little paper with you wherever you go. 3. Read your desire and mentally repeat it every chance you get. 4. When you read it, do so with all the willpower you can muster. 5. Believe that it will happen now and go about your business supremely confident. How Rosie employed the powerful mirror technique to gain a promotion and a raise in salary. Rosie was a young, intelligent, beautiful, ambitious secretary, yet she never seemed to make it big. Disappointments and frustrations finally brought her to my office door. It was such a beautiful, sunny morning in July. For Rosie, it might as well have been snowing, for she felt dejected and lost in her dilemma. She sat directly in front of me and very slowly and carefully related her sad story to me. I am so miserable and sad, she sobbed at her eyes, drooped, and tears began to roll down her weather-beaten cheeks. I am sick of seeing other girls with less educational background get promoted with raises while I continue in the same rut. What can I do? Her sunken eyes seemed to beg for a solution. I really felt sorry for her. Of course, I realized that she had conditioned her vibrosonic tuner to vibrate negatively and attract similarly disorganized invisible intelligence clusters, which were disorienting her and influencing her to make the wrong moves in life. Her failure was self-created and she was paying the price. I gave her a copy of the powerful mirror technique. She appeared somewhat relieved as she walked out with a semblance of hope. I was convinced that her woes would vanish once she put the technique into action. I didn't hear from her for about two weeks. I just couldn't forget her worn look and it haunted the inner recesses of my brain. Occasionally, she would flash across my mind and I immediately would imagine her being very ha happy with her new position. It is very amazing how the telepathy of the mind works. A few minutes after I had been thinking of her one day, she called. She was very happy. She said to me, God bless you. Do you know what happened? I replied, in the name of the Lord, I suspect that you have been blessed with good news. Yes, and that isn't all, she said. I just received a call from the head office informing me that as of tomorrow, I will be in charge of the office personnel and I will get a healthy increase in salary. Oh, I'm so happy. Nancy has also used the powerful mirror technique to conquer her man. Nancy wrote to me for help. She had always had bad luck in love. She, her last affair had produced the extra burden of an illegitimate child. The father had run out of money and left. On the basis of her written letter, she appeared to be a very nice girl, but bad luck just seemed to dog her steps. She expressed sincerity and a yearning to establish a home and live a righteous life. Hector was elected to be her man. I mailed her the powerful mirror technique and knew that if she carried through, the desired results would soon crown her efforts. About a month later, my telephone rang. By the sound of the vibration, I knew it was good news. Some people would question such a statement and I wouldn't blame them. However, over the years, I have developed the ability to interpret vibrations as to whether they bring good or bad news. And this was definitely a sound of good news. I can't explain it, but each telephone call appears to incorporate and transmit the quality of the emotions and feelings of the caller. Apparently, the electrical impulses which register the ring also deliver the vibrations emitted from the vibrosonic tuner of the person making the call. Thus, 
when a person is under high pressure and duress, the vibrosonic tuner seems to vibrate at a very unique and high frequency. Couple these forces with the tremendous speed with which these vibrations travel and you have a powerhouse impact which is instantaneous. Hello, I answered. Silence ensued for a few seconds. It is during those few psychologically long seconds that both parties on the line mentally prepare themselves for a verbal and mental confrontation. I felt triumph as the silence was broken and a clear sounding voice at the other end of the line said, I'm Nancy. Do you remember my letter? I sure do, my dear, I'd said. Thanks for forever for having sent me your powerful mirror technique. I started to exercise it as soon as I received and started to feel more confident and poised in everything I did. About a week later, I was walking to the market when I heard a very familiar voice speak to me from behind. It rang a bell, but on, my mind said, no, it can't be. I quickly turned around and it was a dream come true. It was Hector. Oh, I had wanted to see him so badly that I practically dreamed of him every night. But of course, he was in New Orleans and I was in New York. It couldn't be him after the way he had abandoned me and never even bothered to write or call me. I rubbed my eyes to make sure it was him and I was so happy. He took the arm and whispered in my ear that he had something very important to tell me. He went into a restaurant which was nearby and to my surprise, he proposed to me. We were married the same week. Please, please keep writing to me. Send me more of your literature so that we may have continued good luck and prosperity. This is only one of thousands of such letters in my personal files. Many people have used this powerful mirror technique and have benefited by it. I have used it to advantage often and continue to exercise it. You too can use this technique and receive what your heart desires. But you must initiate the action before any rewards can fill your life. Are you ready for the moment of truth? The powerful mirror technique. My recommendation is that this technique be practiced for intervals of approximately five minutes per session, once daily for seven consecutive nights, preferably before you go to bed. The mirror that you use can be any size as long as you can see your face clearly. One, gaze into a mirror and fondly observe yourself. Study every minute detail of your face. Mentally analyze yourself and assess your ambitions. Are you satisfied with yourself? Do you want to transform yourself? If so, in which ways? Mentally create the image of yourself the way you want yourself to be. 2. Continue such concentration and admire yourself as the potential of God's creation here on earth. You are made in His image. Think about this idea until it makes sense to you. 3. Throughout the session, keep your mouth closed and don't open it for any reason. This is very important. 4. Breathe through your nose very slowly and rhythmically. 5. At this stage of the session, you will begin to feel body sensations. This is a very good sign. Continue until you feel very buoyant. 6. Think clusters of thoughts related to your desires. Think powerfully about them while you imbue them with confident determination that they will come to pass soon. 7. For example, if it's money you want, think big. Think I am rich, prosperous, or I am abundant. Think as many similar thought groups as come to your mind. Feel great power as you think your big moving thoughts. Suppose you want your loved one to return. In such a situation, you merely change the psychic format by thinking silently and creating within the dark labyrinth of your mind the exact situation you want to materialize. You could think, he or she has returned or I am happy with him or her. By placing your desire in your vibrosonic tuner, you will be putting the technique to work. 
through spiritual revelation, I have discovered that this exercise activates the invisible neural connections leading to the vibrasonic tuner. And continued practice will surely awaken and put this giant power into motion. Once this happens, you will always be pleasantly surprised. 8. Now you will feel very refreshed and peaceful. Continue looking at yourself in the mirror. Look very closely and try to observe any kind of transformation that might be taking place within the contours of your face. Don't be discouraged if you don't notice any changes the first few times. Try again. Soon you will begin to notice the new, youthful you, beautiful, successful, confident, unfurling in the mirror before your very eyes. The recommended timelet for this exercise is about five minutes. Surely you can devote this much time to what you sincerely desire. You now have taken the first step in the right direction as you go on to greater things with the realizations and revelations of the great techniques, the mystery of it all will fade away and nature's beautiful simplicity will shine through you. You can vibrate your vibrasonic tuner at any vibration frequency you desire. It is all up to you. What is it going to be? Health or sickness? Riches or poverty? Lucky or unlucky? you or somebody else now I would just love to go through the rest of this book I just wanted to read an excerpt in a first chapter but there's a ton of really good exercises that I can also give uh, and we can also go over several that are very interesting several of these chapters are, are like not normal for a book like this and they have some pretty interesting techniques the next one that i wanted to to give is the cosmic expansion breathing technique and use this technique to transport your mind to the outer fringes of space and bring back those superior intelligences that await your call so one sit in a comfortable chair in a relaxed position for approximately five minutes and during this time you must try to keep your mind as blank as possible. Two, stand perfectly straight with your arms limp along the side of your body. Hold your head erect, eyes fixed on some point directly in front of you. Keep your heels close together while you maintain a comfortable stance. Your mouth should be shut throughout the breathing aspect of the technique. Empty your mind of all thoughts reject those thoughts that tend to creep into your thinking consciousness you can do this most effectively by concentrating on the inner cavity of your forehead visualize it as a black television picture tube imagining that it is teeming with small white and black electrical vibrating dots dancing all over the screen area maintain this situation for approximately three minutes your mind will signal you when the three minutes are over. Three, concentrate on that center of the visual imaginary screen within the cavity of your forehead. Imagine that you are literally burning a hole through it with your directed concentration. This action will begin the activation of your vibrasonic tuner. And as you persist, you will begin to gain absolute control over your mind and body. Now you are on the way to success. 4. You have tapped the infinite resource of the mind-mental energy. Adopt a patient, watchful attitude and continue in the state of body and mind homeostasis. Notice that your breathing eases and assumes a very natural rhythm. Continuation will make you feel very pleasant, euphoric sensations, tingling throughout your entire body. Keep enjoying them because as they continue to ripple throughout your body, they will automatically start every cell within your body vibrating, and you will be receptive to the superintelligence vibrations in space. 5. Close your left eye. At the same time, close your left nostril. 
with the index finger of your left hand. Inhale a very long, deep breath through the right nostril. Hold it for approximately 10 seconds. During this short interval, your vibrasonic tuner will go into tail spins, adjusting to all these wonderful new sensations. Six, immediately open your left eye and close your right eye. Release your left nostril and close the right nostril with the right index finger. Seven, exhale completely. Repeat this process until you feel satisfied that you have done a good job. The wisdom of your vibrasonic tuner will always advise you when to terminate each exercise. I suggest that you practice it each night just before going to bed. This suggestion is most important since it is during the sleeping interim that your vibrasonic tuner reaches into the vast realms of space for the help you need to achieve your needs and goals. 8. When you get up each morning, I suggest that you rush to your mirror and observe yourself. Look for favorable changes in your looks, character, gestures, and overall behavior in your daily living. Bear in mind that if the techniques are exercised with faithful perseverance, you will soon find that your vibrasonic tuner will begin to draw to you the necessary impressions, images of events, ideas, guidance, and decisions, which will surely transform your life into successful, blissful happiness. Another technique mentioned later in the book is the zero vibration technique of peace and harmony. This technique helps you realign your vibrasonic tuner into the proper mental perspective. As you imagine the world, so will the world appear to you. One, pick up any small object in your hand. Look at it for approximately five minutes. During this time, observe all of its physical attributes. Notice how it was constructed. Realize that in the present shape and form, it functions as a unique entity. In the scheme of things, it must serve a function and therefore is a necessary part of the universe. At the same time, realize that its physical form is composed of billions of molecules in constant motion. They are held together by their cohesive field force. But once that field force is put under greater stress by any outside force, the molecular structure comprising the body will disintegrate and the molecules will disappear into space. 2. Put the object down in its proper place and look about you. Notice that everything exists in its own peculiar shape and form and does serve a functional need. Realize that you are on this planet to serve a function. Realize that in order to serve this function happily, you must be in harmony not only with your own molecular structure, but with the world about you as a whole. 3. Wherever you go or whatever you do, always be conscious that you are in harmony with the universe. Feel love towards everything that exists in the universe. Recognize this feeling every day, wherever you are and whatever you do. Continuous exercise of this harmony concept will activate your vibrasonic tuner and maintain you in a constant state of harmonious, blissful happiness. There are certainly numerous other techniques that are listed, and I'll just do one more the blast off money chant. Now this chant is used to enrich your money consciousness and fatten your pocketbook. One, this chant can be practiced while you are sitting down, lying down, standing up, or whatever you may be doing. Two, repeat the following. Pum, pum, pum. Until you feel you've saturated your vibrasonic tuner with the rhythmical sound of these magical words. 3. After you feel you have repeated the chant long enough, use your own words to express your desires. Repeat those desires with faith and insistence. Always state the amount of money you desire. 4. 
After you finish the chant, go about your business with the expectation that from somewhere, somehow, your desires will be fulfilled. I could certainly read more and maybe we'll do some of these again as entire chapters if I decide to, if you guys like this particular book. But there are a bunch of cool books like that and uh, maybe I shouldn't be reading them, but I find them super fascinating and I thought that you might find them interesting as well. I'm always on the lookout for something new and unique and I own a bookstore, so I find really unique and interesting books. Sometimes I just want to share some of the information in them and I will continue to do so. Hope you guys are doing great. I'd love to hear your comments about Vibrasonics and what you think about it and some of these techniques. Let me know in the comments if any of these techniques worked for you. Please put a like on this video. I think a lot of people out there would like to know that they have a Vibrasonic tuner which might be something as simple as the pineal gland, but it's just mysterious enough that there is obviously something that is doing the attracting. It could be our own heart that is the vibrosonic tuner. In any case, these techniques can be used with our understandings of what we're doing now. The mirror technique is very similar to what Kate Jeggedy recommended in the episode where she recommends a mirror technique. It's the same technique that is discussed by Neville Goddard. There is a mirror technique that's been used in many different things. I use one every single day. I think the mirror is amazing as a manifesting tool. I do believe that there is something with vibration. And if we are vibrating faster, it's easier to change. When something's vibrating at a slower rate, it's harder to adapt and change. In general, mathematically, when you look at things that vibrate, the vibration level allows for adaptability which is part of why the idea of vibration sounds woo woo when you hear it but it's not the reality that you're in is based on a certain vibration and to change the reality to something else requires a change in vibration and you can even imagine it like a moving lock and key that opens up doorways or timelines and what we actually think we're experiencing when we're walking the earth is quite different and changes your perspective of reality immensely. So I will continue to read this book and try to bring in more techniques as I find them. And I have a bunch of more cool Parker publishing books that we'll try to study and break down and use some of the techniques because some of these old forgotten techniques are some of the best. All episodes of The Reality Revolution can be found at therealityrevolution.com and welcome to The Reality Revolution.